All right, by now you may have seen the viral moment from UNC where a group of fraternity brothers faced off with a mob to protect the American flag. Joining us now, one of those fraternity brothers, UNC student, is Isaac Mala. Uh, Isaac, what motivated you to defend the flag? Yeah, well, first of all, thanks for having me on. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I'll say, when we talk about motivation for the flag, the primary reason I was on that quad, right, before this ever even began to become an American issue, I was on there because I'm Jewish and, and I'm Orthodox, and a lot of members that were holding up that flag were. Um, and so we were there really just kind of holding up our Israeli flags and trying to stop hate, and, and there's been a lot of anti-Semitism around the country. So we were there first and foremost for our country of Israel. When this becomes an American issue, uh, that hits kind of double hard, and that really hits us both in our, uh, you know, religious country and our home one that we really feel is, is deeply important to us. I've seen a lot about us being heroes or unbelievable people. It's none of that. Um, we see a country that we love and we believe in and we stand for its values being desecrated, um, and we didn't want to sit by and just let it happen. So were you trying to protect the Israeli flag or the American flag or both? So initially, there was no protection of the Israeli flag. We just wanted the Jewish students on campus to have their voice heard. Uh, very much like I'm here today to have my voice heard, we wanted that to be on campus as well. Mm -hmm. When the American flag became, I guess, in danger is the word you can use, when we saw that it started to be lowered and when it began to be ripped off, especially on a day where four officers were shot and killed less than two hours away from campus, right? We have a flag that's hanging at half mass because those that commit their lives to serve our country and to serve our states are being shot down and killed. That's the flag you're going to rip down? Absolutely not. Not on that day. It's, and so I'm honestly very insane. proud of our administration because they shut it down immediately, and I'm very thankful for that. So, Isaac, I want to show viewers what everything looked like from your angle. This is a video from one of your uh, buddies. Watch. Fascist? Wait a second. <laughs> Do they understand how stupid that sounds? So, wait, as, as a Jewish student, you're a fascist. Okay. I mean, this, these are just dumb people. I'm sorry. They're, they're not bright people. And I know you're graduating as a junior, which is impressive. But these, these people haven't read a book, it sounds like, or they don't know basic history. Uh, Laura, I was called a Nazi today. So, fa you know, I don't really <laughs> understand how that makes any sense, to be completely honest. Um, none of this makes sense to me. This is a country that has given people the ability to protest and to have their voice heard. And I wholeheartedly respect that, regardless of your political affiliation, regardless of whether or not you believe what I believe. That's not what matters. Um, and yet, when we do that, and when we try to protect the flag we love, my friend stands yeah. next to me, has a water well, bottle hit in his face, still has a black eye, and is bleeding. I, I don't, I really don't get it. <laughs> Isaac, um, thank you for joining us and telling this story tonight. And thank you for doing what you did. Um, we really appreciate it. All right, why can't President Trump talk about his trial? But Michael Cohen, Joe Biden, they can. The latest from the courtroom next. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.